In the following workflow example of Task Center for SAP Business One, we're going to see how a purchase order created in Business One totaling over a specific amount will require authorization by a designated employee within an organization. In this example, our process will require that any purchase orders over £2,000 require authorization by one person. Furthermore, any orders above £5,000 will require authorization by two persons. SAP Business One has some workflow functionality built in, however this is not as extensive or customizable when compared against TAR Center's capabilities, as will become clear during this demonstration. The first thing we need to do in order to demonstrate the task is to create a purchase order in SAP Business One. To demonstrate a multi-leveled authorization, we need to create a purchase order totaling above £5,000. Also, any comments added to the purchase order will be displayed on the workflow authorization job. Now that all the details required have been entered into the purchase order form, we can go ahead and submit this and then switch across to TAR Center that is monitoring the Business One purchase order table in the background. The task has already started running and will process a number of steps before completing. By loading the graphical task designer, we can take a closer look at what steps are involved in this initial task. We can see that the first step is the SAP Business One event tool. This is used to monitor the Business One database for new purchase orders. When a new purchase order is entered, Task Center uses the Order Total and Decision tool to check whether or not this meets our criteria. In this case, is the total under £2,000? If the total is over £2,000, the database query tool gathers all the purchase order details and these are then assigned ready for inclusion in the authorization workflow. The web-based workflow form is created using the Create Workflow Job tool. The format as HTML tool is then used to create a fully formatted email message that also contains a link to the workflow job created. The email is finally sent using the Send Message tool. From the authorizer's perspective, they would simply receive the message in their inbox and we can switch across to our email application to view this now. We can now see the email message that Task Center for SAP Business One has automatically generated and sent. This has been formatted in accordance with our own design requirements and can be customized as required. In this example, our first authorizer is John Simpson and by clicking the link within the message, we will be taken to the workflow page via our internet browser. The form now displayed has been created using the Task Center Workflow Designer. Workflow jobs can be customized to include specific layouts and graphics and any number of input fields, radio buttons, checkboxes and drop-down lists can be added. This workflow includes all the relevant details required to make a purchase order decision and includes the comments we added into the original purchase order. Via this workflow job the authorizer has a choice to either accept or reject the purchase order and can also add any comments as required. We know that the order is over £5,000 and will require a second authorization so we can add some comments and submit the form back to TAR Center for further processing. Let's switch back to TAR Center for SAP Business One to see the background processing. The task has now processed the workflow submission. When necessary, a second authorization workflow will be created. The first authorizer, John Simpson, approved the purchase order, so the second authorization workflow will be created as the order totals over £5,000. The task that creates a second authorization request is very similar to the first task, so rather than go through all the steps again, we can view the results by switching back to our email application. The new message is for Tom Arnold, our second authorizer, and we can see that John Simpson has given his approval. So let's go ahead and load the workflow by clicking on the embedded link. You will see that there are some subtle changes in the second workflow authorizations. For example, John Simpson's comments are also included. Just as before, the second authorizer can either accept or reject the request, and in both cases can add their own comments. By submitting the form and approving the purchase order, we can start the final stage of the process. Let's switch across to Tarsen and see the last stage of processing. The task is completed, so we can look at the design in more detail through the graphical task design interface. 
The first step is the workflow job submission that loads all the details from the second purchase order authorization. The decision tool is then used to create two distinct paths depending on whether or not the purchase order was accepted or rejected. If it was accepted, the purchase order in SAP Business One is updated to reflect this. Next, an email is formatted using the Format as HTML tool and sent to the original requester informing them of the decision using the Send Message tool. Before looking at the updated purchase order in Business One, let's switch across to our email application to view the message sent. The new email message is for Alan Rice who originally entered the purchase order in SAP Business One. The email informs him of the decision that has been made along with the comments from both authorizers. Let's now look at the updated purchase order in SAP Business One. We can see the same authorizer comments now also appear in the purchase order and that the status has now been changed to approved. This purchase authorization workflow process has illustrated how TAR Center for SAP Business One can help decision makers ensure that business rules and procedures are consistently adhered to. Removing the burden on management to manually monitor and respond to business decisions significantly improves productivity and protects the business against unnoticed events that may have undesired financial implications.